hi guys welcome again so in today's video you've already seen in the title so i'm going to be sharing my camp experience and it, I, I, will, I will begin from the day i left the house down to camp and the camp experience what to expect to so the activities that you're going to be doing at camp and all of the activities i will carry along don't worry i got you covered you learn from this experience if you have not yet camped so in the beginning game, <laughs> in the beginning we received our call up letter and I was supposed to acquire bomb. In a way I was not fully prepared, but at the same time I'm I mean I just want to go. I just want to go. But I made my head to know how unprepared I am. I made my head late at night, like I go back home around ten o'clock in the evening to make my aim. So after that we if we, in case you were posted to somewhere that you did not even know. Just make sure you're on any NYNC platform that give you information about NYNC. And then on that platform, you get a group that you get links to groups that will be saying that Lagos to acquire bomb, you got to acquire bomb. I'm using acquire bomb as an example because I was posted to acquire bomb. So you will join any platform. But at the same time, you have to be aware of scammers that will want to scam you. So this was it particular day we are going to camp we are told to resume camp um, on the 16th of august that was 2023 and then i was i made inquiry from people that we were that we that have been there before or the journey like a day before i've make uh, got i've tried to reach out to people to get some information about the land and as well as uh, the movement so I joined platform. Some people delegate themselves to book the the, uh, the uh, bus for us. We wrote our names and all of that. Then we pay the money that we get to the park. So don't pay before. Pay when you get to the park. Cause sometimes some people, cause sometimes some people might not be able to go with you. So so the, that this was the day we are going. I was mapping pictures just to keep memories as far. You still have reference for it in the future. So this morning I was having serious kata and I had to buy chewing gum and some sweets, mental sweets to use so as to clear my voice and my throat because stress is what caused that kata. So I was feeling myself, checking my hair and my brother, <laughs> we said that ICGC we went to the same school together and we got there the following morning, sha. just like 24 hours on the road. Even though we do is uh, change, we stopped at Ore, we stopped at Owe, we, we stopped at um, Abia. That was the last stop before we move again. This was my people that we came together. And it was fun. Yeah, the, the place, that particular place that you're seeing. Okay, we dropped our bag then. We were on the queue. We, sit, we sat down because it's a long queue and it's not for the week, you see. You see the head of people at the front. So you have to be moving. As they are moving, you have to be moving to the next seat that is free and vacant. And even at that, Nigeria, student, student life is still there. The institution. So they had to separate us that some of us should stay at the back and some should stay at the front. And I was still here taking pictures. This was on the 17th. I was, I was snapping pictures. And... Uh, this was in the swearing so this was the, the um, timetable we have three weeks to so give you the book and they have timetable for food so so the first night at camp when i already got my khaki and my jungle boots and my white and white even though it's cropped up <laughs> that white and white is cropped up but this was the one i bought from home i saw pictures of I say, ah, ah, my first time at camp my my first time of wearing that white or white ah let me feel myself for at least let me just show get myself and yeah so the song is just aired was the side song because that the following morning we are distributed some people will go to the kitchen some people will go to wherever you want to go if you want to join obs you want to join red cross the which delegates from each platform will be there and this was me feeling myself this is not allowed because you have to be on your cap you have to be your cap has to be on your head every time so it's not allowed you if you are if you are doing that if they catch you at camp you 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 will serve the you face the consequence 
So that's just it. So after that, the next day was swearing in. <laughs> we did swearing in for us. We enjoyed ourselves. So we did FNAF Connect as per se. We the best school. <laughs> we are the best actually. So Federal University of Agriculture built with our students in a Kwaibon camp. We did a connect connect. I tried to if you know somebody in a Kwaibon that is a Funabite, just try to create a group and create platform. And we, we did well. We had about close to twenty people that 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 Funabite that we that we got to see ourselves because we later discovered that some people are at camp and they didn't, they didn't get the information. So you cannot you cannot redo it again. You can't bring turn the hand, the turn back the end of time. And we just had to move. We sang our school and tell. And people were just looking at us. And we were just like, wow, these two people. Oh, yes, we are feeling ourselves. We love it. We enjoyed ourselves. As per se, maybe first time of hearing the six over seven. We had fun pictures, we danced, we took a lot of pictures and just have fun about it too. But we snapped this earlier before we did the general one. Yeah, we, okay, I have fun about it, especially when we see the tag of our system. This was the following day when we did the social, every, this, every night is social night. So when we did welcome party and then along the line we got to know our platoon officer, commandant, and manual. So, this is one of the first competition we did. And another thing I would like to say at camp is that you should be vigilant. Because <laughs> my one of my t-shirts was stolen, and the bottle that I took, <laughs> my sister ever started giving to me, was stolen at camp. So, klepto is plenty at camp. Kleptomania and thieves, there are plenty at camp. So, you don't need that you should. You should know your heart. Don't trust anybody. As much as you want to wash, be vigilant so that they will not carry out everything that you have in your life. Some people they stole their things. And yeah, this is my platoon doing Riaza. And it was amazing, amazing, amazing. Riaza. One of the my, my best moments at camp was during parade because because I love parading. I love it. I love it. See, see how we are marching into from open order to a close order. Can you see? If you see that, you can do that. You can do that. Shoulder to shoulder, to shoulder. That's how platoon officer used to shout on us. So one of the games that was played was basketball. We played the uh, what again? What again? Football and. Our guys were trying, you know, our guys were trying. So another thing that happened to me at camp was when I went to their center. I think I went to their center for it too, in, oh, on two different locations. One was because of my leg. My leg was itching and scratched it and it was bringing out fluid and the fluid was melting with the socks. So whenever it gets right and I remove the socks again, to become a fresh one so i have to go to the so the second thing that carried me to the center was the my neck my neck got swollen along the line and i later discovered all it was because of the air i made i didn't even know it was the only speed i ran and uh, have you forgotten that when you something it won't happen to your leg and uh, the way that it will affect your tight so and i was scared that's why i had to pray about that god was this and I was given a pain uh, relief and all of that. You can see the, the air is too tight, too tight. Like that's too, it, it was having wound already. So it's affecting my neck. So that's by the way, that's the two things that carry me to the air center. So we continue our Riaza and it was fun and, and all of that. So the next thing I'm going to be saying is the punishment we had at camp. Yes, the punishment we had at camp was our lodge. We are making, we are noise makers, and our place is very close to the soldiers and to the state coordinator. And state coordinator reported us that we were making noise, like we, were, we did not allow us to sleep, and we are, we are just shouting. After light out, people will still be making noise. Like, I was, it's kind of infuriate, kind of infuriating because you yourself, you need to rest. So we shall the punishment we are brought out in the night. We almost slept at parade ground and the next we we some we apologize. So people were crying. Ah some of them were crying. I did not cry but I was not happy about it. 
So we are going to be seven over seven in the in the in the inside east. We wore seven over seven and others were wearing white on white. So inter platoon parade competition. Yes, you can see your girl, fine girl. <laughs> and yeah, this is us. I will not fast forward it but I love to parry I want you to enjoy it because it's, it's very interesting so I will just stop talking online I will just make voice around so yeah um, one of the things that I did at camp that made my camp camping experience um, 8 to 10 I think I gave camping experience 8 to 10 so camping is green as if it to our tennis. NCCF. Like if if we are not careful, the spiritual life will be dormant before you leave them. So we had prayers by four in the morning. Then in the evening when Nigeria has gone to bed, you know that time we have been to camp. But if we have not been to camp, and uh, Nigeria go to bed by six in the evening. So we go to the ch- uh, NCCF uh, arena and pray there. Uh, and sometimes it's to clash with the other. Sometimes I have to flee. I have to fly away <laughs> for NCCF. You can see us. You can see us. Look at us. That's the examiner. And parade is very interesting. Vibe parade is very good. You see, we fought though, and our platoon there was a donation at camp. Each platoon has the capacity, paid money, and you can donate money for the platoon so that we can have money in the post and do some things because this also was gotten by the platoon. We had two socks. You know, we are giving two at camp. We won one under. We bought and the platoon was, uh, platoon gave us under one that we cut so that it can be longer because that socks will not be as long as this. So they had to cut it so that maybe the tip will be at the, we feel that it shall be, to be longer. So you, you get, you get the gist. So that's just it. We did open order, close order from stomach to squeak mat. Then uh, we review all that. So as then we count one to fourteen, then we I think fourteen left, right. You get the task. That's just it. Uh, it's right, you see, that's we are saluting the person that is standing in. Like I don't know, I think it's one of the military men that we are saluting. Yeah. So We are there. We are there. You can see me. You see my neck. Strong your hand. Strong I love parade. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. <laughs> There's still a lot of gist because I still have a lot of things to tell you. So you can see all the platoons are forming lines. You see. We are forming our own online. So what part of those things you can join us camp, Red Cross, OBS, that's for communication, if you like talking, and um, band, the drum for us. You enjoy it though. For Red Cross too, they used to enjoy this. Uh, Kota Gad too. So this was when our plateau was announced as the first. The first. The best platoon coming first and inter platoon parade. Ah ah, our platoon is seized and composure. That's our platoon mama. We see Benedict Okpo. I still remember the name. <laughs> so, we are Jubilees. We did this, this, this and our exam now. So, how do I charge and come? We charge, there's always a place for you to charge at Mami Market. So, Every campus market, and so our because of this parade and many other things, 
people hate our platoon our platoon we we are motivated internally beyond external motivation so in that we have confidence in ourselves and there was no no way that we give in to discouragement even though we are losing so it always seems as if we are being sided that there, there was partiality when they are doing their judgment but to me there is no partiality actually and we did a uh, said and all of all of those things football i think we came third or fourth in the football for the guys so in the said i want to advise you if you know how to do something before for the sake of competition represent your plateau do it for your platform it's competition if you're not do you do it for your platform so i'm singing the sai song yeah. so at first i joined them um, pastries and uh, baking class but then i left the place because there's nothing new so i just had to go to cosmetology where i learned how to make um, um baking so bath liquid soap, perfume oil and all of that so this is the party celebration of our platoon so here yeah, they check the outfits the decorations in your platoon the drama you make the presentation your platoon have to represent the tribe that you are given so our ours is Ausa Flan. you can see our Emia Farouk our best photographer is the, our Emia and then the me, the Fulani guy. <laughs> Fulani, what was the name that you give me? Other people, my platoon. And the drama they acted was um, about Emia getting married to a new wife. And one thing I learned there was that Emia does not used to bow, no matter, regardless of whoever you are. The truth is that not everybody that comes at camp together with you will leave the camp together with you. And here is my reason. Number one is when you violate any rules and regulations. And number two, let me say the violation of any rules and regulations that you face uh, the panels and probably you did something that was wrong and they had to just send you back home or you are caught in the act. So people that were even the camp because they got pregnant. There was I like, remember they came to our Lord Jack saying that hey, if you know you are pregnant, you have some care that we used to give to them, but automatically you will not be able to finish that camp so that you will not see that it's during the campaign process that you you got miscarriage. And so people did not even know that you are pregnant before they came to camp. So just like that. And another thing about NYS is that if you get to camp, meet somebody and from a different tribe and you want to get married within the service year. I think you have you are entitled to five hundred thousand naira. Yes, you're entitled to five hundred thousand naira. And they will do scrutiny you know, that they will know that you do not know each other from Adam because one of the things they want to promote is uh, is oneness. Oneness is one of the vision of um NYC. So how should I prepare for camp? For those of you that are yet to go to camp, so this is for you. You prepare for camp spiritually because camp can drain you spiritually if you are not careful. NCCF has been one of the greatest things that can strengthen you, that can help you during those times to be able to stand the well. NCCF helped in terms of standing strong in camp because there's always a morning prayer even if you don't have time to do your own personal prayer at least the fellowship of the brethren one hour in the morning one hour, one, one hour in the evening in a way we charge you up in a way we charge you up and another thing is that you have to prepare physically because camp is money and money is camp <laughs> to go there is money you get to your things that you need because there's no borrow borrow in at camp Except if you have somebody that you knew from home and somebody that is kind of that that can borrow you some things. So there's no borrow at camp. You have to you're on your own. Yeah, except 
few things that you can borrow and uh, you have to just prepare whatever you think you can need that you will need that you will, that you will use at camp just take it along not too much of load if you want to carry your long thinking like okay one of the mistakes i made was because i didn't I didn't carry my load alongside. I was thinking I'll go back from camp and then go back, come back again. I couldn't do such. I the later sent my load to me. But some people carried their load from their house down to camp, but they kept it at the soldier place because they have a limited amount, a limited number of uh, property that you have to carry inside the camp. And you are not to go there with any iron, even iron spoon is not allowed fork, knife, pins are not allowed, except if you sneak it in and they didn't check, check your bag properly. And another thing you should prepare, how to prepare for camp, you should prepare mentally and emotionally because you meet a lot of people and not everybody, I'm sorry to say this, <laughs> not everybody is really, really okay. I don't know, it's not okay, like, you know that there are some ways that people relate, that they felt like it's normal, whereas it's not normal, I don't know, some people, to some people it might be normal, to you it might be, it might not be normal, so in a way you want to be stepping on, on somebody's toes, maybe somebody will just talk anyhow and not your feelings, you just have to be prepared in your platoon, your lodge, oh my god, yeah, in our lodge, like we say, fought serious fights, and it, it was it was because they did not want to no grief for anybody. Sometimes you have to just be patient. When you the person responds, doesn't mean that you should respond. Just like that, in that in the way that in that in that way you're able to to protect yourself at camp. You'll be able to stand gallant at camp against all of so things we do on our passing out day we return our bed they even try to know that we have to collect one pass that we used to collect something in our life all in our life so we keep our bag safe our tents safe because there's high rate of stealing in the morning after that we went to eat we did passing our parade that was it oh my God. Oh, my fault. I will not go home at all like this. It was like that. So I, I collected a posting letter. After collecting a posting letter, there's already a post waiting for us to different various uh, PPs that we posted to the local government. So I, just, I was just questioning the guy that came to me because I ah, was in this country. I've already heard in the. I'll see you in the next video, shall I? about my experience at my uh, at local government and my primary place of assignment so for now see you i hope you enjoyed this video and see you in my next video god bless you enjoy your stay at camp enjoy every bit my camp experience was good i love camp even though it was stressful like a routine and all of that but we have already